The movie is set in the near future. The film portrays a world ravaged by a devastating pandemic virus. The scarcity of resources has led to chaos and societal collapse. Eventually, a new global government emerges, providing protection and resources to survivors. But with a catch, it comes at a cost known as the deal. In the opening scene, we are introduced to a woman named Tala, who was engrossed in painting. The male bureau spokesperson approaches her to express gratitude for her work and presents her with a gift. Tala takes the opportunity to discreetly steal some ink before leaving after contemplating her painting for a while. Outside, we meet Annalyn, Tala's daughter, who is busy fixing an air conditioner to cool herself down. However, her mother calls her to join her, and together they navigate through a long line of people to receive food. The clerk allows them to pass quickly, since they have participated in the deal. As they exit, they face the stares and spitting of the people waiting outside, prompting the police to intervene forcefully. Upon arriving home, Tala and Annalyn enter after being scanned by the security camera. Tala proceeds to serve food to her daughter, but Annalyn shows no interest in eating. Sensing something is amiss, Tala brings out some boxes and reveals that she only has five days left to live. She begins to explain to Annalyn the necessary steps to survive after her passing, emphasizing the importance of using the cash, selling the paintings, and finally selling the jewelry based on their value. However, Annalyn's focus is not on comprehending the order of selling items, but rather on her mother's life. Annalyn suggests finding an alternative solution, but Tala informs her that she has already made the deal, which includes a countdown watch implanted in her body that will cause her death in five days. Sadly, Annalyn leaves home with a heavy heart and heads to a nightclub. Unfortunately, a sudden power outage occurs, prompting Annalyn to fix the issue. Upon her return, she encounters a girl named Kabira, who compliments her skills. Kabira reveals that she survives by scavenging valuable items from deceased individuals and selling them. As they continue their conversation, Kabira checks Annalyn's back to see if she has accepted the deal. She also asks if Annalyn has learned engineering, referring to her ability to fix the lights. Annalyn explains that she is trying to prove her worth through her skills, hoping to be considered a valuable resource. However, others doubt her claims, leading her to mention her father and her friend Jin while discussing the Bureau. After Kabira departs, Annalyn and her friend Jin head to the rooftop, slightly intoxicated from the brew. They engage in a conversation, and Annalyn asks Jin about Kabira. Jin agrees that the railroad is a fabrication, considering that no one who ventures there ever returns. They discuss their parents' situations, but realize there is nothing they can do. In a tender moment, Jin kisses Annalyn, and they embrace. Back at home, Annalyn's mother is sitting down when Annalyn clumsily drops the keys, alerting her mother to her return. Her mother scolds her for going out dressed that way and insists that she should stop hanging out with those people, including Jin. They argue, leaving Annalyn feeling upset. Tala, noticing that Annalyn's temperature is elevated, suggests they visit the doctor, but Annalyn refuses. A siren blares, instructing people to stay inside the walls, and prohibiting anyone from going out due to the disease. To ensure their safety, they must remain indoors. At the hospital, Annalyn proposes stealing some items since there are no security cameras. After much hesitation, Tala reluctantly agrees to steal some band-aids, but they are interrupted by the doctor before they can proceed. Upon hearing the test results, they receive the devastating news that Annalyn is experiencing kidney failure in both kidneys and urgently needs a transplant. However, being neither wealthy nor part of the upper class, they are ineligible for the government's assistance. As Tala is Annalyn's mother, she becomes a potential kidney donor. The doctor provides Annalyn with a painkiller while they prepare for the transplant procedure. At the reception, while waiting for her mother, Annalyn watches the news discussing the benefits of accepting the deal and receiving food and resources for the next 20 years, considering it a gift. As Tala processes the schedule, she realizes that the earliest available time for her daughter's transplant is six months. Tala attempts to explain that Annalyn only has four days left, and there are no other relatives who can provide a kidney for her daughter. However, the receptionist refuses to assist, citing regulations. 
This leads to a heated argument and Annalyn forcefully takes her mom out of the reception area. Annalyn convinces her mother to accept the deal, but Tala disagrees, seeing it as a curse. Tala assures her that she will find another solution. Tala then visits the Bureau of Life and encounters a father bidding farewell to his family with sorrow. She approaches the female Bureau spokesperson, pleading for a six-month extension of her own life to help her daughter. She offers to pay, but the Bureau spokesperson refuses, emphasizing that the deal is final. As Tala is about to leave, the male Bureau spokesperson follows her and offers his assistance. Tala rushes home and urges Annalyn to accompany her on the bus to the location the spokesperson mentioned. They enter a room where they are instructed to change into gowns. During this time, Annalyn asks the spokesperson how long the procedure will take and if he can remove the timer from her mother's body. He assures them that the procedure will take approximately three hours, but explains that removing the timer is not possible. Suddenly the phone begins to ring, so he leaves to answer it. Annalyn starts searching the room and stumbles upon various human organs, revealing the horrifying truth that he intends to harm them. They desperately attempt to find a way out, but the door's locked. They spot a fire emergency exit and hope it leads to safety. Just as he re-enters the room, they manage to slip out using the fire exit, but to their surprise, he follows them through the same route. However, they hide in a wardrobe, successfully tricking him. The doctor realizes they have sipped and sits there, seething with anger. Outside, Tala suggests finding another doctor who can assist them, but Annalyn suggests searching for relatives on her father's side to obtain her father's documents from the Bureau. Tala explains that it is not possible to do so. They then head to Jin's residence, where he warmly welcomes them and lets them in. Inside, they find Kabira, who reveals that they work together. They ask Kabira for access to the Bureau, which initially met with refusal. However, after offering money and Annalyn's readiness to hack into the system, Kabira agrees and provides them with the necessary access credentials. They proceed to the market to sell the jewelry, despite the clerk's less-than-friendly attitude. Ultimately, they reach an agreement and sell the jewelry. While waiting in line for water, Tala notices a man carrying supplies and decides to investigate. She discovers that he has a van, prompting her to urge Annalyn to get into the vehicle. Although Annalyn hesitates initially, she eventually agrees and climbs inside. The challenge now is to start the car since there are no keys. However, Annalyn manages to connect the electrical system and starts the car, even though Tala doesn't know how to drive. Tala recalls her father's driving and they set off, leaving the man unable to catch up with them. As they follow the map, they reach a gate. Annalyn goes back and finds a laundry service uniform, which she gives to her mom. Tala hides while Annalyn returns to the gate. Fortunately, they can enter without any issues. They find themselves in a completely different and luxurious environment. Upon arriving at the intended destination, they enter the compound and encounter a woman. The woman asks for money but refuses, claiming it is insufficient. Tala and Annalyn plead with her and she reluctantly lets them enter the home, giving them a 10-minute time limit after scanning her face with a computer. Annalyn does her best and manages to find her father's address, discovering that he is living in their vicinity. Armed with the address, they make their way to her father's home. After taking a moment to compose themselves, they knock on the door and he emerges, surprised to see his wife. He warmly greets them and they enter the house. After exchanging awkward stares and enduring moments of silence, they learn that Annalyn's father is an engineer. Tala explains why they are there and reveals that she only has four days left. Unfortunately, they discover that he also accepted the deal and has only four and a half months remaining. This revelation sparks arguments between Annalyn's father and Tala. Tala excuses herself and goes to the restroom. After some time, she begins searching for things in his home. However, she finds nothing on the wall shelf or in the drawer. Out of curiosity, she checks his bathtub and discovers a ready-to-go backpack. She returns to the living room and urges her daughter to leave. As they hurriedly walk, Annalyn stops and asks Tala what happened. Tala explains that she saw the bag and believes he is planning to leave, which is why he is unwilling to help them. 
Annalyn speculates that he might be heading to the railway, and Tala manages to convince her to follow him. Upon returning home, they pack their bags quickly and rush to leave. Along the way, Annalyn requests to see Jin one last time, but instead they find Kabira at his home. Annalyn relays a message to Kabira for Jin, expressing her longing for him, and then they continue on their way. They arrive back at her father's home and wait for him from a distance. After a short while, he exits the house, and they discreetly begin following him. After some time, they lose sight of him. Suddenly, they spot him sitting on the ground, taking a break. Tala offers him water to drink and insists on him resting for a while. However, the next morning, Tala falls asleep, and when she wakes up, her father is nowhere to be found. She urgently wakes her daughter, instructing her to hurry and follow him. Surprisingly, he appears and tells them to stop following him as it is unsafe. Tala eagerly asks where he is going, and he explains that one of his engineer friends informed him about a place where they can find resources and potentially stop the timer in their bodies. Despite the risks, they agree to go with him. Unfortunately, scavengers appear, and now they must find a way to escape from them. After numerous attempts to elude the scavengers, they are eventually spotted, and the chase begins. The father takes a detour to mislead the scavengers, and they come dangerously close, but he manages to reappear at the right moment. He throws some wire objects to create noise, allowing them to hide behind a door, and they successfully escape. On their journey, Annalyn starts feeling unwell and experiencing nausea. She realizes they left her bag behind, but she gathers her strength and they continue on their way. Upon reaching the station, the father disguises himself as an engineer and leaves to procure something for them. As he takes longer than expected, Tala begins to doubt his trustworthiness and suggests finding another way. However, Annalyn insists on giving him a chance. Just as Tala expresses her doubts, he returns with the uniform they need. They manage to enter the station, where they discover they can use their IDs to gain access. They take a side route to enter, and it is at this point that they realize Kabira is following them. Inside the station, they encounter the person they were supposed to meet, who reveals that he had been waiting for him specifically. They explain that they are a family, and they proceed together. However, during their journey, they are stopped by security personnel, who request their papers. Unexpectedly, Annalyn manages to hide while the security officer asks for their identification. Both Tala and her husband show their papers, but Tala realizes she doesn't have hers. As the security officer is about to report the situation, Annalyn strikes him from behind, resulting in his death. They quickly leave the scene, and the person they meet leads them into a tunnel before the security guards arrive, wishing them luck. They begin walking through the cave, and Tala and her husband engage in conversation about life and their emotions. Suddenly, Annalyn returns to inform them that she has found a way, and they follow her, successfully making their way out. To their surprise, they witness plants starting to grow again, and they come across a lake nearby. They start a fire, and the father begins making stew. They share romantic glances and enjoy each other's company. The following morning, Annalyn wakes up and notices a boat nearby. She wakes the others and they hurriedly approach the boat to communicate with its occupant. They attempt to explain their situation, but the man informs them that he can only offer the deal to one person. Reluctantly, Tala agrees to send Annalyn alone. However, as the conversation becomes more tense, her father becomes overwhelmed with anger and impulsively attacks the man. Sadly, her father decides to prioritize saving his own life and departs, leaving them behind. Despite their efforts to follow and plead with him, their attempts to swim after him prove unsuccessful, forcing them to return to land. After a heated argument, they decide to go back to their homeland, hoping to explore other possibilities. They return home where Tala begins calculating their limited resources, Realizing their dire situation, Annalyn, filled with sadness, also decides to accept the deal. They share a heartfelt embrace and bid farewell. Annalyn goes to Jin's home only to find Kibira there as well. She embraces Jin sorrowfully and informs him that her mother has left. Kibira reveals that she knows some ways to bring her mother back. Meanwhile, Tala arrives at the bureau and informs them that she is there for her process. The female bureau spokesperson hands her a form to fill out, 
and directs her to the appropriate path. Tala enters a white room where she is instructed to change her clothes and wait. The sound of a siren signifies that she is making a significant contribution and that future generations will be grateful for her choice. Meanwhile, Annalyn arrives at the bureau, and on the other side, a male nurse instructs her to lie down. He informs her that the procedure is complete and restarts her timer, revealing that her daughter has made a selfless sacrifice on her behalf. Simultaneously, I apologize for the incomplete response. Here's the continuation. On the other side, the female bureau spokesperson enters Annalyn's room and administers medicine after hearing her statement. Annalyn lies there, and after a long search, Tala finally arrives and discovers her daughter's lifeless body. The security personnel bring them to a room, and during this time, Kabira and Jin also arrive to assist Annalyn in waking up. They inform Tala that her father is also part of this plan, and together they manage to escape safely. And thus, the story concludes at this point.